Here is a look at some of our Alaska headlines for this Friday morning. A reminder, of course, that if you want the full story, you need to go to my website, RadioFreeSpeech.com, and click on the subscribe button. Now, purchase a subscription. You will get a 30 to 40-minute audio form sent directly to your inbox. Email every morning, Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. You can upload it onto your iPod and listen to the news on your way to work. Here's some of the headlines. U.S. Air Force fighters scrambled once again to intercept Russian bear bombers on the American border, basically out there off the coast of Alaska. This time, the bombers had Russian fighter jets with them. Now, according to the officials, they weren't armed, and it was basically this just routine cat and mouse thing that's been going on. However, this is the most activity that's been seen out there since the end of the Cold War. What's interesting about this, when I first saw the story, it was on Fox News. I wanted to look for something not Fox, and I found the story on the the, the Sun, which is a U.K. source. I thought, oh, this is great. And then I realized, of course, the Sun is also owned by News Corp, which is the parent corporation of Fox News. Secretary of State Tillerson is going to be in Fairbanks next week. He'll be attending that Arctic Council event on May 10th and 11th, and he will be officially overseeing the transfer of the council chairmanship of the United States over to Finland. The smoke, if you were in the Anchorage area this week on Wednesday and Thursday, was visible from the airport. People were like, oh, what's going on? It was training. Uh, They intentionally lit some fuel on fire so that firefighters could practice on their day off how to deal with a real fire if there had been one at the airport. Alaska's Congressman Don Young was among those in the GOP that were undecided about the revised health care plan, that vote happening yesterday. Right up on the eve of the vote, Young saying that if it it came down to yes, no, or undecided, that he was still undecided, which I, you know, whether this is a a matter of positioning himself for future votes or uh, re-election campaign, uh, who knows. But once again, uh, the president's main push to repeal Obamacare, yet another vote yesterday, and Young was officially undecided just hours before the vote. A Wasilla man has been indicted for taking an emergency vehicle. It didn't specify which emergency vehicle he took, uh, and it wasn't sure exactly on what day it happened or when in terms of looking at the indictment. However, uh, I guess there was enough evidence to charge him. Weather has delayed the recovery of a pilot's body. Remember that pilot happened on Monday in southwest Alaska. Those going in to look at it said it's going to be accessible only by helicopter, and therefore... It's going to be a fuel issue because there aren't any places around there for fuel, and helicopters don't carry much fuel. And secondly, it's going to be an issue of terrain getting to it because of the wet snow and the incline of up to 50 degrees. So maybe a while before they can get the pilot's body down. That young girl that's been missing for more than a month in the Matsu area, she was found safe this week on Wednesday. Uh, no word on whether she was with her dad, although it was suspected that she was last seen with her father when she went missing. The bill that would reimburse PFDs to those who were wrongfully convicted is moving forward. It now heads on over to the Senate. And a Fairbanks man who was involved in a 2016 standoff got four years in prison for his role in that. Interesting story from the Alaska Dispatch News. Apparently, one of their reporters was slapped by a senator, a Alaska senator, in follow-up to a story that had been run in the ADN. I remember we talked about this uh, freshman senator who basically proposed legislation that would exempt his former employer from some of the these rule changes that would strip funding away from nonprofit agencies and and basically when asked about that story his response was to slap the reporter who wrote it it's not over uh, at this point i mean the the reporter said it, it it didn't hurt he wasn't injured but it certainly wasn't a love tap and so he filed a police report and We'll see where it goes from there. My commentary today focuses on this America first policy that has been talked about and what it means in terms of abandoning our values for our priorities. Check that out. Also, once again, the website is radiofreespeech.com.